<laughs> what's up what's up youtube big b here with ironclad rc thank you guys for riding with me uh today we got this mini rigger project that we're going to get started on uh not going to be installing anything on the boat yet but we will be making a motor mount uh, i'm going to show you guys how to make a laminate fiberglass laminate sheet I'm also going to show you how to use this laminate sheet that you make to to build a, a motor mount with a fixed position motor mount for RC boating uh, it's a fairly simple process not a lot of materials involved not a lot of tools involved it's an easy and affordable way to customize your boat and uh, make it your own I come from a family of boaters both sides of my family were fishermen I worked in boat yards so so I know the dynamics I know how boats work uh, I've owned several boats of my own I own several RC boats built several RC boats so so I just want to kind of pass on some of my knowledge some of my my know-how to down to you guys and kind of teach you a few things along the way we're going we're gonna to get started on the project. First, we're going to laminate a piece of fiberglass, and we're going to use that laminate to make our motor mount. If you like what you're seeing, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, well, you guys, you guys know, you guys know the deal. Uh, hit that bell to get notified for future builds, future projects. As always, thank you guys for watching. We're going to get right into it. All right, so I'm uh, so I'm actually cutting out <clears throat> my cloth. I've got I'm just gonna do a little small piece just to show you guys because I have a couple of these already made. But just for 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 learning purposes, we're gonna lay up this small piece uh, real quick. So I'm gonna go uh, four four layers. This this larger piece that I have pre-made is actually three layers. And it's going to be perfect for our build but but for this we're going to do four now this is probably going to be uh where the actual motor sits the motor mount itself so i wanted to go four with it but you need a piece of glass any kind of glass will work as long as it's not frosted or anything so i've got it cleaned up and we're going to use some wax just some turtle wax to wax up the glass this is going to help release your your laminate, your layup. I don't buff it all off. I like to leave a little bit on there. You know, just kind of lightly wipe it off. I like to use polyvinyl PVA, which is a great mold release. But we're not going to use it for this. I want to show you guys how to do it, the waxing method so we're going to get some uh just some regular old fiberglass this isn't the best fiberglass in the world but it's cheap get some gloves acid shot brushes for these small layups all right so we're going to add our hardener straight to the wax glass just apply your 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 fiberglass resin all right just like so Okay, then you put your chop strand on first, and then you just wet it out. It's what they call wetting your wetting your cloth, wetting the glass out. You see how it's you see how it's turning the color clear almost. Once once it kind of changes colors, you know you have enough resin on there, and you can put your next your next layer of cloth. So wove mat on on next. And wet it out just like you do the, the chop strand. The cloth is the strength in your layup. So put you another, another layer of cloth on. Like I said, alternate them. I already cut mine in alternating positions, so I'm just going to lay it on there. You always have to cut off excess in layers, but you kind of want to have to make it a little bit bigger. Probably uh, half inch all the way around will probably do just fine. Wet it out, real quick, last chop strand on. So we're chop strand, load, load, and then chop strand again. Like so, and wet it out. It's a cheap way. To, to 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 make fiberglass laminate sheets uh, carbon fiber 
and epoxies. Epoxies are, are expensive. The carbon fiber cloth is expensive. And this is the cheapest way to go with this. Just as good. All right, now we're just gonna wait for this to, to cure out. Got us a heavy duty, heavy duty paint scraper here. And you just kind of start at one side and work your way around your workpiece. See how it's wanting to pop up? Yeah. No PDA, no, 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 no specific release agent. We just use some wax. Use the around. It should pop right up last. Yep, there we go. Let's see what it looks like on the other side. Nice and shiny. Check it out. So now you just want to take and cut the edges off. So yeah, yeah, see it turned out nice. Nice and shiny on the glass side. And the other side looks natural. You can see the fibers. All right, all right. So we're back into workplace here. I want to talk about your template, how to get your template, and a few things uh, to look out for when you're making your template for your motor mount. Uh, we're going to start off with the with the fixed position motor mount, which is what I'm using on this boat right here. Uh, as you can see, I have my motor and the mount mounted up into the boat temporarily. I have my collet and flex cable in there as well. Uh, what I'm looking for is clearance for my flex cable. I'm also looking for the right angle to for the motor to line up with my future stuffing tube. Uh, Want to get make sure I have plenty of room on both sides to you know to to run wires and stuff. Uh, you also just want to basically check your clearance for your for your canopy for your cow and we have clearance you see I had to make a couple of different mock-ups trying to get the correct angle motor angle so you could see this was my first one the angle was a little too much and then this one was not quite enough so so my third third mock-up was actually perfect so we're going to run with this mount here um, you also want to pay particular attention to uh, how how long your side rails are on your motor mount cut this one in half just to show you guys like if you have a short mount you're not going to have a lot of surface to epoxy it into your boat with so the longer the side rail can be the better see how this factory mount is the, the really long rails on the motor bed so uh so yeah just kind of pay attention to that as well if you have room to your side rails to bring it out on both sides of your motor mounting surface here's an example you know so so it has a little bit uh better reinforcement especially um on high speed boats you know in big motor big block motors this little 28 series motor here uh, I, I don't think I need to put rails on, on both sides of my mounting uh, platform all right so we've got the motor off of this mount um, this is basically the, the the shape I want to make it this is gonna be a super simple mount setup uh, ultra lightweight not quite as light as if we use carbon fiber. The one thing I, I want to make sure I get 100% right is the angle. That angle right there for your motor pl plate. See how it sits in that on that plate here? That's going to be where your motor mounts to. And, and this angle on your side rail has got to be perfect. So I'm going to set it on my fiberglass here and get a pencil and we're going to mark out 
the shape of our mount. I've got my template here and we just used a pencil to mark the template onto the fiberglass. All right, uh, so we're gonna use a Dremel to cut it out. Use my straight edge to get my, my template onto our new laminate. Got it all marked up and now I'm gonna go cut that the same way we did the first piece. All three of my sides cut out for my motor mount shape. I'm making the, a little stand for the motor mount to sit on while we're gluing it up. Just put your, your motor plate on there, mark the ends with your razor knife, and then cut a little slither out for your side to sit on. Like so. A little glue up jig. See how I, I kind of cut slits in this foam board here for the for the rail to sit in and then we got the motor plate in the front I got my resin all mixed up my cloth I'm gonna put a little bit of resin on the end both ends of the motor mount just a little bit not gonna take much and then get our, our, our motor plate in place That looks good. Get a little bit of your chop strand mat. Wet your brush. And just get a few of those hairs. Do it on both sides. Don't take much of this cloth to, to you know, kind of make it, make it strong. So you want to make sure you get this first layup right. You don't want no air bubbles in your piece. Uh, you definitely want to make sure you get everything wetted up good. Not too much fiberglass, just the right amount. Because this first layup really is what determines the, the final the final strength of your of your part. As long as everything's straight and lined up right, we can we can strengthen it up on our second layup. I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure on this motor plate see that I had a little bit of weight right here all right all right it's the next day uh, we I pulled this out of our jig that we made and everything is uh is strong I mean we we did pretty good with just that little bit of fiberglass and, and fibers that we use to attach everything. So I'm going to check it for squareness. Let's check the squareness. Yep, looks good. Looks good. So so what I'm going to do next is take our, our laminate we made. <clears throat> I'm going to cut it. I got it marked here. I'm going to cut a piece to slide in behind that front motor plate. And it's going to be, you know, glassed in. But that's going to give it a little more structural integrity, uh, you know, so that, that way it's not going to flex or break because uh, we, we're going ultralight. So I'm going to try to beef it up a little bit here. Now, you probably don't have to do this. You could make your motor mount, like notch it, basically do a mortise and tenon type joint on your, on your mount, on your rails. And 
you probably wouldn't have to cut this second piece but since I'm not I'm do, since mine's a three piece motor mount I, I really I really didn't want to go through the trouble of mortise and tenon I'm just gonna you know add an extra backer on the motor plate so ready to be installed see how I'll just cut it to fit kind of rounded the corners rounded the corners on it a little bit that way it'll fit over our previous glass and uh, we're gonna get this mixed up all right so I got my glass set out got some resin mixed up I'm gonna coat the back of my motor plate here with resin gonna coat the new backer with resin and what I'm gonna do is lay a little bit of chopped cloth in there on the back to fill any voids get good adhesion kind of like we're uh, you know laminating it <clears throat> onto the new mount all right and you want a little bit hanging off the sides so when you set it on your your motor mount with the cloth down you get good bond so I'm just gonna put a little bit more last a little bit more cloth on here that way we don't have any air void on our way up all right so now you put your plate your backer plate on there make sure it's uh, flush that's it all right put your down sandwich on there you want to kind of glass on the seams here so you can make like one solid piece now i'm going to put it back to this with glass with resin and then i'm going to do the same thing with the cloth this time i'm going to use the cloth to really in the corners most that way you get a nice strong bond here then you pull it on the side on the rails like we did before you don't want too much glass resin you don't want too much resin like before uh, the resin needs to be mixed with the, with the cloth so that you can make it uh, strong the cloth is about to make sure your part strong not the, not the resin any access we can stand off later on without anything sticking up crazy I'm going to get like one thick plate right here, so I'm going to get thick with it. With the cloth. Be nice if we could clamp it. Oh yeah, so I'm going to use these little clothes pins to clamp it up. So it doesn't look pretty right now, but it will. It will. Once, once you start sanding and stuff, you'll... It'll look, it'll start coming together. See, I'm not putting any on the outside because it's already tight going into my boat. So I don't want to put any on the outside of this uh, mount. All right, so we're going to let that dry up. Pray that our clothespins don't get stuck to it. They shouldn't, it's plastic. All right, so she's all cured out. Oh yeah, look, I'm putting pressure on it now. Oh, she's she's nice and strong. <laughs> so I'm just going to clean up these edges with some sandpaper, knock down the high spots. Uh, don't want to sand it too much because you will uh, weaken your part. <laughs> Yep, once you get it epoxied into the boat, it's going to be super strong, super strong. So I wouldn't really worry about the flexibility of the rails right now. Once you get it secured in your boat, it'll actually strengthen the whole, the whole setup up. So yeah, yeah, we got it. The angle's right for the boat. Uh, just going to slide it in here for you so you can see. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to use some uh, some like airbrush sealer, auto sealer for the for the mount to waterproof that porous fiberglass, and then uh, probably just spray it white. Got my motor mount primed up. Got it in this block of foam. Going to drill my holes out for my epoxy to sit in. And then we're going to put the final coat of paint. So the epoxy will sit when you epoxy this into the boat. This epoxy should go into these little holes. 
and kind of lock it in there so it doesn't go anywhere. Alright, alright, we uh we uh we finished it up, got it all painted up, looking good, looking good. But it's ready to be put in the boat, got our holes drilled for the motor, got our holes drilled for the epoxy to set in. Um, I'm actually gonna work working on this servo mount, micro servo mount. Decided not to use my included servo mount which is like a plastic servo mount. I, I decided to make my own. So uh, I, I did mortise kind of mortise and tenon the the edges so i don't have to make a jig for this one to sit in you see how it's it's mortise and tenon like a little puzzle piece almost but we're all done i hope this helped you guys out with your hobby i hope it uh you could learn something from this video if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff uh ring the bells to get notified for future builds future projects and as always Thank you guys for watching. Big B with Ironclad RC. We'll see you next time.